200 youngsters having the time of their lives. This year, the annual Dream Flight trip is extra special. They're celebrating the fact that a number of medal winners at the Paralympic Games have been on previous trips. The aim is to give the youngsters confidence to succeed and hopes to inspire the next generation of Paralympians. Medal winners have travelled with them. You know, I've shown shown a lot of the guys here that you know my medals and told them I'm a swimmer and a lot of them are like, oh, I want to be a Paralympian. So yeah, it inspires you know a generation of, of swimmers or just to go out there and, and do things you know and not just want to sit at home and think, oh, I can't do that. It's still recent. The Paralympics was six weeks ago and these guys have watched it and they've got something to aspire to and it gives them something to relate to. The day starts early in the morning with breakfast before spending every one of the 10 days at a theme park. 200 carers are with the disabled and seriously ill children. This youngster from Maidenhead has been looking forward to the trip for months. He's had a transplant of his small bowel. I'm really excited because I get to do all different things that I couldn't have imagined doing. And it's like important to me because I get to see other people that are, have been ill over the past. He will benefit immensely from it. Um, through what he's been through in the past, he's now well enough to go. But there's nothing to say in the future that he will be able to go with us. So now is the perfect time for him. It's been a really, really, really good. Best. What's been good? Uh, all the roller coasters, they've been good. The food's been amazing. And just being around all different people. Has it really been worth coming? Very. I like the park and I like eat some of the rides. Has it, it was... been really worth you coming? Yeah. Today we're going to go and swim with dolphins and manta rays. In the evening it's time to party and meet celebrities. Their confidence grow, they get used to doing their own thing and having to be responsible for themselves, so it's really good for them. And you're having fun as well? <laughs> yes, fun, yes, it is good fun, but, and it's just great to be with the kids. They, they take a lot from this. I think, uh, you know, not just the fact of coming away, but feeling that, you know, that they're part of the part of being normal and and being kids and enjoying you know having fun with 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 other children well it's it's been it's been an, an amazing trip a once in a lifetime thing so far i'd probably say my highlight was probably meeting ian poulter i'm a big golf fan and it was amazing for him to be there This is the 26th Dream Flight and it cost the charity around £1 million to put on. It's the largest of its kind in the world. It's nothing to be ashamed of and I think the British public have embraced that this year after the Paralympics, which is good for Dream Flight. A massive operation to organise it. Uh, yes, just a little bit, I suppose, but, and uh, everybody said it must get easier every year. Well, yes it does, but it's still the same, the same amount of work, there's 420 people. Well, it's now the final day of the trip and they do keep the best till last. Today, it's swimming with the dolphins. That was amazing. I can't believe that we've actually got to swim with dolphins because they're my favourite animal and I just love them. What was it like being in there? Very cold, but it was exciting. Oh, it was really good. I loved it. It was amazing. Was it the one thing you sort of sort of hoped it would be and sort of the one thing that you've been looking for how, how, how much have you been looking forward to that? A, a, a lot. I, from, the, from the day I saw uh, it was on the timetable I thought oh yeah so I can't wait to swim with dolphins. And planning for next year's trip is already underway. Mike Pierce, London Tonight, Orlando.